there is an annoying issue with Chrome and Selenium. Uh, ever since maybe I would say two years ago or so, even though, even though you don't have driver quit or driver close, at the end of the script, Chrome would close. And a lot of my students ask me about that question. And I have two very simple solutions, especially one of them is extremely simple, and I'm gonna show you how to deal with that, okay? So let's look at this script real quick. This is a very, very basic Selenium script. It just says import Selenium from WebDrive, uh, import WebDrive from Selenium, import time. Then we're gonna create our Chrome instance. Then we're gonna just go to the site. This is a test site I have uh, for my students to practice automation on. That's what I do, I teach automation. And then just so you can see the browser, I have a two second sleep. And then I'm just printing the title and I am done. So let's actually execute this script. So you can see it at the bottom here, Chrome opened. There you go, Chrome opened. It's gonna wait two seconds and it's gonna close. Chrome, Chrome closed, even though I don't have a driver that quit here, okay? So one of the easiest solutions, of course, I guess there's three solutions, is to not use Chrome, right? You can use Firefox. That's not a good solution, but let's say we change it to, to Firefox. Now I'm gonna run the same exact scripts, just repeat my last command. You're gonna see that Firefox actually stays open. It's right here, it opened on my other monitor. You can see it right there. You can see the script is done, but Firefox still open. The browser is still open, but the script is done. That is the expected behavior. Normally that's what you would expect. You don't, it did not explicitly say close the browser, right? You just, you, you're still working on it, you're developing. You wanna hit this line of code and you want the browser to stay open. Most people want that to happen. But Chrome, I don't know if this is by design or not. To be honest, I do not know if it's by design or if it's a bug or something, but it's been around for a while, at least two years, I would say. So that is a problem. So we know Firefox is fine. So let's go back to Chrome. Now let's run it again, just to confirm that without having to close it, Chrome is going to close when it's done with the script. So the simplest thing you can do is basically add a breakpoint at the end of your script. That's pretty much the simplest thing. At the end, I'm gonna say at a breakpoint, this is a PDB. Uh, if you don't know, this is, breakpoint is kinda new. You, before you would do import PDB, PDB dot set trace. Those two things will do the same thing, but instead of doing this import statement, now they give us this breakpoint shortcut, pretty much a function that literally calls this. So now if I run it, I'm still in Chrome. Let me clear this. I'm still running Chrome. If I run it, you see Chrome is open and the script is just gonna pause, right? There's multiple benefits here. First of all, it is paused so I can literally interact with it. I can say print or I can just do PP because it's a breakpoint, driver.title, right? You can literally interact with the browser. That's one thing, but that's not, this video, that's not what this video is about. I have a video about that. This is just to keep it open. Now it's open so you can see the browser. If you wanna look at, go get locators, you can go to do uh, locators. So that's my way the recommended way for me. That's what I do and it's simple. It's pretty straightforward. If you don't know how to do a breakpoint, I actually have a little uh, tutorial on that. If you go to my site, superscreate.com, I'll link it in the video. Go to a cheat sheet and there is this document that shows step-by-step -step with examples um, of how to use breakpoint. And uh, I'll also link a video for you. If you don't know how to use breakpoint or, uh, or PDB with Python, you really have to if you are working with Python. All right. The other solution that I've seen online people recommend is we're gonna add a Chrome option. I'm actually gonna copy the code just to make it faster, okay? I'm gonna bring it here. This is what we are going to do. What you gotta do is you just have to add this detach option. Uh, I'm sure you've seen the options before. You say from Selenium WebDriver Chrome options, import options. You create the option object then you add this experimental option, detach true. Then you pass it into Chrome. If we do this, now the browser would actually stay open without having to go into a breakpoint. The script will finish, just like the Firefox. The script will finish, but the browser will stay open. So it depends on what you wanna do. So let's run it again, just to see it actually works. We'll move it to the side. And you can see, oh, I still have the breakpoint. So let me remove the breakpoint. I'm gonna comment this out. I'm going to clear my screen and we're going to run it again. This time, the script is done. You can see the script is done, but the browser is still open. In fact, I have two of them open because uh, the earlier one did the same thing. So one last time, I'm going to run it and you will see the script is done, but the browser stays open. 
So the two solutions are either add a breakpoint at the end of your script, right before you quit. You normally you would have driver that quit, right? So right before that, uh, event, so normally the question I get is, oh, I commented out the quit part, but the browser still quit anyways, why? Um, so the best solution is to add a breakpoint at the end of it. If you wanna add a little extra code, you can do that. But sometimes you don't have access to the, the class that created uh, the, the browser because you're working in a framework where everything is hidden. Um, so the breakpoint is the, the, the simplest, simplest solution. And it actually does way more than just keep the browser open. Right. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something from it. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and like this video. It would help me out a lot. All I do is create content related to QA automation. I teach QA automation. I'm a professional automation engineer. I've been doing it for a long time and uh, I love doing it. I love teaching and follow me and like the video and that would help out a lot. Thank you.